How do the five A's apply when hiring people? Rosie Jones. Hello. So, the five A's are guidelines for disability inclusion in UK television production created by the TV Access Project. Ade Adepatan. They are anticipate, ask, assess, adjust and advocate. Ruben Reuter. But what does that mean when it comes to hiring people to join your team? Anticipate. Jack Thorne. You should fully expect to work and continue to work with deaf, disabled and neurodivergent talent on a regular basis. Ali Castle. So, be proactively inclusive rather than reactively so. Holly Cocker. Are you consistently building up a network of disabled talent to widen your talent pool? Sarah Misagian Shirazi. Do you check your language is up to date and non-discriminatory? Lee Ridley. Are you very clear that you welcome applications from disabled people? Nicola Garda. Maybe consider offering a guaranteed interview to any disabled applicant who meet the essential criteria for every role you advertise. Ask. Tanya Moti. You should avoid assuming anything of anybody. Charlie Phoebe. So seek to understand the needs, requirements and preferences of all disabled people on an individual basis. Ria Lina. Do you ask everybody clearly and explicitly if they have any access requirements for the application and interview process? Melissa John. Have you specifically trained your recruiters in best practice and legal requirements when hiring disabled talent? Alan Jadavji. Do you respect confidentiality, keeping personal information secure and only sharing it with anyone who needs to know with the disabled person's express permission? Bryony Arnold. Remember, never ask candidates during the application and interview process about their health or impairments and how they affect their ability to do their job. Kate Lord. The entire focus should be on talent, skills, knowledge and experience. Assess. Nicola Garda. You should value your self-reflection, being clear and transparent about how accessible you are. Tanya Moti. So produce and keep updated an accurate access statement about your organisation, your buildings and your productions. Ali Castle. At every stage of the hiring process, do you give applicants the option for doing things in more than one way, according to what best suits them? Jay Francis. Do you assess the, the spaces that you interview in for accessibility? Jack Thorne. Do you ask for feedback from disabled talent about their experience? Sherry Lee Houston. Think about regular tracking and reporting your levels of disability inclusion in your hiring processes. Adjust. Kate Lord. You should promptly and consistently deliver what's needed to ensure the inclusion of deaf, disabled and neurodivergent talent. Nicole Stephen. So be open to doing things differently in your hiring process to provide equity. Melissa John. Are your adverts and job descriptions comprehensive, accessible and in plain English? Natalie Amber. Have you secured funding in advance for any access and adjustments that candidates may require when they interview? Damon Rose. Do you put in place contingency plans in case your original access provision falls through? Stu Richard. Think about it. Do you really need someone to have a driving license to do the job? Advocate. Ria Lina. You should set high standards for everyone. Jay Francis. So celebrate what the table talent bring and actually champion. Bryony Arnold. Are you looking to work with disabled talent because of the lived experience they bring, not in spite of being disabled? Jordan Jarrett Bryan. Do you always challenge assumptions, ignorance and ableism? Caroline O'Neill. Are you specific in your job adverts that you actively welcome disabled applicants and that you will put adjustments in place throughout the recruitment process? 
Alan Jadavji. Make sure you consider the long-term career progression of every disabled person you hire at every level.